Items of film news from the Far East include the story of the bogus Japanese hospital ship Tachiban Maru, captured off Australia. Cases of 75mm shells marked medical supplies were found on board, as well as 1,500 Japanese soldiers listed as patients. They were taken to American POW camp. Would-be world conquerors of the East, with hands up, coming in at the double. Aboard the American battleship Missouri, chosen as the scene of formal surrender by Japan, Admiral Halsey, Admiral Rawlings and staff officers drink a toast to victory. It's a way they have in both the British and the American navies. Ashore, not long before he reached Tokyo, General MacArthur addresses some of his men on the same subject. I hope from the bottom of my heart that this is the end of the war. If it is, it is largely due to your own splendid effort. Very shortly, I trust we'll all be going home. And here, escorted by American fighters, come the Japanese surrender envoys flying in white planes marked with green crosses as directed. Their radio code word was Bataan. That should have made them think. Anyway, they landed on the island of Ie, near Okinawa, en route for Manila. Leader of the mission was the vice chief of the Imperial Staff, Lieutenant General Kawabe. And no time was wasted on him or the rest of the delegation. planes were shoved to the side of the field, for Jap planes were permitted to fly no further. And then the surrender mission of 16 climbed aboard an American C-54 transport. This was taking them to Manila, where they would receive orders regarding arrangements for the actual surrender formalities to be held later. A picture to remember, for it was the first time in history that Japan had sued for peace. <laughs> 